big gut punch. Fast. All right. Gut punch. He wants a gut punch. I want to get a big a gut one. Punch, too. All right. Hell yeah. Damn, five Bronson ex extracts. What is he this crazy? Is, this is the scratchy voice uh, throat guy, the scratchy throat voice guy that I just I feel bad for you. Yeah. But do your best. Make him sound like whatever the hell you want him to sound like. My oh, voice you naturally mix sounds it like a chick, so I am uh, I'm a okay with this. <laughs> All right, let's just give him two karma tree, you know? Yeah. So I'm assuming you got to actually mix it this time. Well, we have to make it big. Oh, yeah, that too. So we got to go double ingredients. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It shows it right here, but I'm going to yeah. say it anyway. Just for your own uh, knowledge. So let's give him four. four. Yeah, so we're I was gonna on give him two. Okay, so does this have to... A gut punch? I feel like it has to be blended. Uh, Can I see how long you have to mix it? Or is it only, or can I only see the description? All aged and mixed. Okay. It's bitter, manly, and strong. It's All mixed. All aged and it says mixed. Right here. Okay, perfect. So four seconds. Perfect. perfect. Get that out to him. Here. <clears throat> you can actually do it then. Nice. <clears throat> this crack house is a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Hellhole crack house, to be specific. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect so? <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. This is a good line. <laughs> How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? That, I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... Sorry, for the question then. Uh, Mr. Ingram McDougal. He's not happy with that name. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was uh, an incident over the weekend involving some corgis. But it's Tuesday. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Please <laughs> let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? Oh, geez. Big yikes. Uh, no. no. <laughs> then I got no use for you beyond giving me drinks, damn. Such a pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. Uh, a regular? Can I ask who? No. <laughs> all no. right, then. <laughs> I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Oh, hell oh, yeah, thanks, thanks. dude. I like Dana. Uh, oh, uh, was I Dana? Do you, I have no idea. Do you want me to take it? It doesn't really matter. Hey, Jill, where'd you put out the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink, where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide to the establishment so we can enhance our customer experience? Nope. Nothing. No, oh, that's uh, an interesting change of heart. Have a hassy. <laughs> I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Oh, fucking... Dana Zane. Oh, she's a gangster, comic. dude. Oh, that's pretty radical. She fended off mall fended rioters. Off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. Damn. So she's basically Tomoyo, which is hot. Yeah. That's pretty That's radical. an achievement and a title I've never heard of before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that... It's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Nice. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involves Class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the last one had an alpaca. That is we a get pretty a lot heinous of crime. incidents around here. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but, you know. There's this woman that owns a textile company. 
She got her really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. <laughs> she started spitting on everything afterwards. <laughs> My boss had to <laughs> show her the exit. <laughs> I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that, shall we? Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? That's a word I haven't heard today. Hell yeah. Coming right up. You want a pile right. driver? I honestly feel like suplexing him, though. <laughs> I fucking love this. This is powerful. This is a very so, powerful game. I enjoy this a lot. There's three, uh, three of those. Three Flannergides. Four dang Karmatrines. This song slaps, dude. It does. This is, a, this is incredible. I agree. Whoever put the music on in this place has some incredible taste. Here. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Jesus Christ. I was uh, reading that, and I got to the end of it. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Which I guess helped with the delivery. I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't have been able to read wrong. that straight. <laughs> I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. <laughs> That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> you fucking scum of the earth. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. Ugh. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Oh, jeez. Stop it. <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know, they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Ouch. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? That sounds, that sounds like damning evidence that I have, in fact, faked an orgasm. Because <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have a lot of experience. Jeez. Uh, still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <laughs> <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm going to need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Alright, let's give him a fringe weaver. Yeah, yeah, fringe weaver. Give it to him, baby. Wow, that's a lot of karma tree. He's getting Jesus drunk. Jesus Christ. He's ready to get friggity friggity fucked Oh, up. I can just click him. I don't actually have to... Oh, wait, yes I do. So there's his The song drink. slaps. Yet it's again. like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Bubbly, classy, and strong. Not like this man. Not classy. Oh shit, it has to be aged. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I left All I let aged, it so do long. we have to just sit it? No, you just have to you gotta mix it, but not not too long. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. <laughs> I like this guy, actually. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Gee, I, I don't like this guy anymore. E empty how? Like, like hungry? No. I mean, empty like there's a part of you missing. Jesus. Oh, this I can't is a, say I, I don't particularly like this guy. have. I just feel like there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Good advice. Any suggestions? Suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising... I like combat sports. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. He's talking about drugs. Witches? Bitches and alcohol. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I tried sex tours at once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I Jeez. left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. Damn. Really be like that. Yeah, for real. Alright, I'm not gonna read that line. Oh, Jesus. That's, that's a line. Um... Yeah, um is the correct answer. <laughs> Have you <laughs> tried, tried res rescuing a puppy? <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Man. I'm drawing a <laughs> blank. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. <laughs> well, you got me to believe you, that's for sure. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Uh, 
Anyway, <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> the smell is killing me. Fuck you, Ingram. Please come again. <laughs> Don't count on it. Yeah, fucking dick. Good. Yeah. yeah. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. I needed a second. This guy just said he was fucking someone that he All told right. to look like his kid or something. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, that's a nice, I like nice little this. art. I like this a lot, except for the part where we get talked to by random dudes that want to fuck puppies. Oh, this that is too. the best. This is the best. Hell yeah, save. Hell yeah. So what are your thoughts on it? Besides, I like it. Like, uh, The dialogue's really nice. It's I now safe it to keep lot. playing. I mean, I think the game, like the dialogue we've seen so far is really all like very unique. It's so natural. It feels it just, very real. It feels real. like they're real people. Yeah. I think that's something a lot of people uh, mess up, but that felt very Even some VNs don't real. get it. Even like, you know, like Clan Ad, it feels sometimes. Oh yeah, well, I mean, you could tell when it's dialogue for a show and not just two people talking, you know? But this, I haven't, I haven't this particularly feels very, felt it too much for this. Very real. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't get locked up this time. There we go.